everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. I have another five minute Cricut class for you. These Cricut classes are designed for those of you who only have five minutes to learn how to use your Cricut. One of the most common questions I get asked is how do I add a score line or a cut line to my project? So today's five minute Cricut class is going to show you how to add score lines and cut lines. And we are going to do this really quick because it's only five minutes. All right, let's go ahead and get started in Cricut Design Space. Now, some of you may be aware of this. There is an option on your Cricut machine to create score lines using a scoring tool or a scoring wheel. Now, I'm not going to go into the difference between those two here in this video, but I will put something on my website today to explain the difference between the two tools. So I'm going to show you how to add a score line to a card base here on Cricut Design Space. So we're just going to go over and grab a basic square shape and I'm going to change this to a standard A2 size card. Now in order to add the score line, I need to go over here to the left to shapes and we're going to see this little line option right here. Go ahead and click on that and you'll see that it adds a score line. When we take a look over here on the right in the layers panel, you're going to see that it does say score. Now, the first thing we want to do is size this score line to match the size of our card. So I'm just going to go up here to size and change this to 5.5 inches so that it is the same height as my card base. Now, when I first started in Cricut Design Space, I used to try to eyeball where the center of the card was. I wasn't aware that there are some amazing little tools in the align options. So if you are trying to eyeball it, let me show you a really quick way to get this aligned right here on your card base. The first thing you're going to do is do what I call snag and grab. So I'm just grabbing my mouse and I am dragging across both of these images. You're going to see that they are selected because they're both a dark gray color over here on the right. You could also use the select all option here at the top if you like, and that would also select both of those images. Then I'm going to go up here to align, and all I have to do is click center, and that is going to center that score line perfectly in the middle of that card base. All right, so we have created a card base and we have created a score line. The most important thing to remember when you're adding a score line is that you need to attach that score line onto the image that needs to be scored. If I were to hit make it at this point, you're going to see that the score line is on one mat and my card base is on another. And that is because I did not attach the two images together to let Cricut Design Space know that the score line needs to be scored on this card base. So I'm going to once again do a snag and grab to grab both of these images. I'm going to go to the lower right and click on that attach tool. And now when I hit make it, you're going to see that that score line is attached to the card base and it's going to score right here onto that card base right in the middle where we placed it. All right, so that is a really quick lesson on how to add score lines to a project. Let's talk about how to add cut lines. All right, so I've gone ahead and brought in two shapes, a hexagon and a circle. We're going to cut the hexagon in half vertically, and we're going to cut the circle in half horizontally. I'm going to go over here to shapes, and I'm going to grab a score line once again. Now, at this point, it is a score line. If you take a look over here at the layers panel, it says score. So this is going to be scored with a scoring wheel or a scoring stylus. We need to create a cut line. So I'm going to go over here to the top left. You're going to see the word operation and under that you're going to see the word score. Go ahead and click on the drop down menu and go to cut and then choose basic. Now this score line is going to be a cut line. So if we take a look over here in the layers panel, it's going to say basic cut. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this cut line to the same height as my hexagon. I'm going to do the snag and grab to grab both the cut line and the hexagon. 
I'm going to go up to a line, choose center once again, and now that cut line is perfectly centered on my hexagon. I just need to attach these two together, and now my hexagon is going to be cut in half vertically. To create a horizontal line, we follow basically the same steps. We just need to rotate our line. So once again, I'm going to go over to shapes. I'm going to grab a score line here. I'm going to change that score line to a basic cut line. I'm going to change the height of the cut line. And then I'm going to go over here to rotate and I'm going to type in 90 degrees so that it rotates that score line to a horizontal score line. Now I just need to snag and grab these two items. I'm going to go up to a line once again, choose center, and now that line is perfectly centered on the circle. I just need to go down and attach the two together and now that circle is going to be cut in half. All right, so there was your five minute Cricut class today. You learned how to add score lines and cut lines to your images. I hope that you enjoyed today's five minute Cricut class and I hope it inspired you to dust off that Cricut and start creating something new. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.